female John Wick. I can dig it. Atomic Blonde. So Atomic Blonde is an action movie starring Charlie Theron, Jane McAvoy, John Goodman, and it's directed by one of the co-directors of John Wick, David Lech. It's about this spy who goes into Germany during the whole time of the Great Berlin Wall, right, like right before it falls, and stuff happens. Okay, that's a little simple, but like, you know, stuff as in, there's this list you gotta get that has all the names of all the spies, like MI6 or CIA, or just intelligence agencies, and she has to retrieve that list, and then stuff happens. And by stuff, I mean people who get hurt, like beat the crap out of, and I mean like a lot. This movie was advertised as basically the female version of John Wick, Except, you know, with more head-to-head -head combat instead of gunplay. And you do get that, like, like so much in the movie. Like, the action in here is just so, so brutal and so almost kind of realistic, even though you can tell, like, it's choreographed, but it just feels so real because of how brutal it is. You get hit, you really feel the hits. Like, you feel like, like the groin shots or the throat shots or, like, the stab to the shoulder or just whatever. You feel every hit. You flinch every time someone gets hit with anything. There's an action scene here where the guy get beat with like a hot pan. And every hit with the sound and just the choreography and the camera work, it just sucks you in and makes you feel so uncomfortable. But is this movie any good? Kinda. It, uh, I, w I want to admit I was kind of disappointed with this movie. But like I said, this movie was advertised as basically the female John Wick. I went in there thinking I was gonna get that. And you do to an extent. But what the trailers don't show you is that this there's this other whole convoluted spy story going on that I don't think was really um, written out well or was, was entirely fleshed out. First, Charlie Theron is good. She played this, you know, stoic, stone cold spy, you know, just had to read the stone face look the entire movie. John Goodman pops up a couple of times. Um, you know, he does John Goodman. John Goodman just, you know, he's John Goodman. He's just, he's just a really good after every time he's on screen, he just commands presence with his size and his voice. Now, like I did mention, the action is really good. The action really is what the, the saving grace of this movie is, because the story really isn't all that interesting. Like, the action scene at the end of this movie is the, like probably one of the best action scenes I've seen probably in about five years, because nothing really is engaging or interesting or not really making a lot of sense most of the time, because there's a lot of twists that they try to throw at you, and I don't think any of them make any sense. And of course, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna spoil anything. But it just felt weird that the movie felt the need to try to, you know, be so ambitious with the storytelling. Which, you know, we should all encourage ambitious storytelling. But for the type of movie they were trying to be and what was advertised, I don't think it should have done that. But this movie is really stylish, like with cinematography and its settings. Like there's a lot of neon lights and like a lot of pinks and greens and it. In a way, it kind of reminded me of that movie last year, Nerve. Uh, overall, I did enjoy this movie. I was slightly disappointed from what the trailer sold me. But if you're going in simply for the action or the aesthetic of what the trailer gave you, you will get that. Uh, but uh, that being said, I didn't hate this movie. I didn't love it like I thought it was, but I do like it. I would give it a B-. minus. Um, check it out if you want to. Okay, I'm trying something new with the outros because I'm trying to make it a little better with the theme, so I'm gonna try this. Why well, is it giving you my two cents? Now give me your two cents in the comment section below. Like this video, comment, tell me what you thought, and uh, thanks for watching my videos. I'm out.